Arturo has an equal number of five, ten, and twenty dollar bills. The total value is seven hundred. How many five dollar bills does Arturo have? So let's say the value of bills is X, meaning he has X five dollar bills, X ten dollar bills, and X twenty dollar bills. So the math or the equation would be five X plus ten X plus twenty X is equal to seven hundred. Correct? So then if you add this up, that's twenty five X is or sorry, <laughs> wow. 35x is equal to 700, and therefore x would be equal to 20. And I think that's all they're asking for. How many $5 bills? Well, yes, 20 of them. So the answer would be D. The Cayley Corner Store sells three types of toys, X's, Y's, and Z's. Canadian way of pronouncing that letter. All X's are identical, all Y's are identical, and all Z's are identical. The masses of two X's equals the masses of 29 Y's. The masses of one Z equals the mass of 16 X's. The mass of one Z equals the mass of how many Y's? Converting what they have written into equations, it would be two E's equal to 29 Y, a W. Well, E is the X's, and the W is the y Y's. I, I know, you probably should have used X, Y, right? It doesn't matter. And then the, there you go, I'll use Z for Zs, and that's 16E, according to what they tell me in this sentence and in that sentence. Okay, so that Z, if you break it up into 10 and 2E, then I can substitute that guy for 29W, so 29W, and therefore Z would be 8 times 29, which is 232. And I think that's what they're asking. 1z is equal to how many wa uh, y's? And the answer is 232. So that would be C. In the diagram, quadrilateral ABCD has AB equal to 20, PC is 12, and CD is 15. Also, AB and CD are perpendicular to BC. The perimeter of quadrilateral ABCD is? Well, the perimeter so far is 20 plus 12 plus 15 plus x, so that's 32 plus 15, which is 47 plus x. So if I get the value for x, then I will be done with the question. So how do I figure out x? Well, I'll draw a perpendicular there, and then that is 15, oh sorry, that is 12, that's the same as the bottom guy, and then from here to here, that's going to be 20 minus 15, so that's 5. And then that's a 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to x squared Pythagorean relationship. And when you solve that, you'll get 13. So therefore, 47 plus 13 is 60. And number 13, therefore, is E. 10 numbers have an average mean of 87. Two of those numbers are 51 and 99. The average of the other eight numbers is... If 10 numbers have an average of 87, their total sum would be 10 times 87, which is 870. So from that sum, I will subtract those two numbers that they have mentioned. And when I do, I will get 720. And from that 720, I will figure out the average of that. And that consists of eight numbers, so divide by eight. And when you do, you get 90. So number 14, the answer is eight. A rectangle has a width x and length y as shown in figure 1. The rectangle is cut along the horizontal and vertical dotted lines in figure 1. To produce four smaller rectangles as shown in figure 2. The sum of the perimeters of these four rectangles in figure 2 is 24. The value of x plus y is. So from there to there is x, right? So that's the equivalent of from there to there. So that contributes 1x and that's also the same as that so that's also an x that is also an x and that's also an x from there to there this t top to bottom is y so that is this from there to there that's a y here to here is a y here to here is a y and finally there to there is a y so the in figure 2 the total is really 4x plus 4y and they're saying that is equal to 24 so if you divide through by 4, you get x plus y equal to 6. And therefore, number 15, the answer is A.
Suppose that this expression is equal to 1 over 8, the value of n is. All right, well, just by looking at this, this 2 cancels with that, that 3 cancels with that, that 4 cancels with that, and, and if you continue that way, everything will cancel up until that point. And all you're going to be left with is just that 1 over n is equal to 1 over 8. That's it. Square both sides, you get 1 over 8 equal to 1 over 64, and flip it, and you get n equal to 64. And therefore, number 16, the answer is B. Each of the four digits of the integer 2024 is even. How many integers between 1000 and 999 inclusive have the property that all four of their digits are even? Well, it's a good thing that they put a zero in there because some people may not remember that zero is even. Okay, so we have four digits, right? And these numbers are between 1000 and 999 inclusive. So the first guy, if we want it to be even, we have choices 2, 4, 6, or 8. Correct? The second one, we now have 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Because of the first one, you can't put 0. Because if you put 0, it would not be a 4-digit number. It would be a 3-digit number, or whatever it would be. Okay, so then the third one, same thing, 2, 4, 6, 8. And the last one also, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So we have four choices for the first digit, five choices for the second digit, five and 5 for the 3rd and 4th. And then you multiply them to get the total number. And that's going to be 20 times 25, which I think is 500. So 500 is the answer, and therefore number 17, the answer is A. The equation with the line y is equal to 3x plus 5 is translated two units to the right. The equation of the resulting line is. Okay, so we got y is equal to 3x plus 5. Let's just put in a couple points here. When x is 0, we get 5. That's 0, 5. And this is the x-axis, of course, not the y-axis. When x is 1, we will get 8. So 1, 8, uh, approximately here. Okay. So here's our original line, something like this. Uh, something like that. And um, we are translating two units to the right. So this point would then for therefore become 2, 5. And this is certainly not drawn to scale. And this point would become 3, 8. So 3, 8. So this line would therefore now become like this. Now the slopes would be the same, but just in case, you know, let's calculate the slope. That would be rise over run, so that's 8 minus 5 over 3 over 1. And as I had predicted, the slope is the same. So now the equation would basically be y is equal to mx plus b, like all lines. The y is equal, sorry, the m is equal to 3. And then we just have to calculate that b. And we can do so easily by plugging in one of these points. So when y is equal to 5, x is equal to 2. So that looks to me like 5 minus 6 is b. So b is negative 1. So therefore, my equation is y is equal to 3x minus 1. And that is b. In the diagram, A, B, C, D is right angle at C, points D, E, F are on A, B, G, H, J are on A, C, and K is on E, H. L is on F, A, J, and M is on B, C, so that D, K, H, G, E, L, J, H, and F, M, C, G are squares. The area of D, K, H, G is 16. The area of E, L, J, H is 36. The area of square F, M, C, J is. Okay, so probably need to blow this up uh, just a little bit. Okay, so this Square was 4, so, uh, so hold on. What was the area again? Uh, 16, right? Yeah, 16. Okay, so that means that that's a 4 by 4 square. Th that's 4, that's 4, that's 4, and, and so on. The other one, that has an area of 16, so that's a 6 by 6 square. So that's 6, that's 6, that's 6. Now, this section here, th right there, right there, that's going to be 2, right? Because the whole side is 6, and then k to h is 4. Okay, so this side is what I'm going to be concentrating on. I'm going to call it x. And these are similar triangles. Uh, let me just, these ones, this one and that one, those are similar triangles. So that means that that's 4. So that means that 2 over 4 is the same as x over 6. 
And that means 12 is equal to 4x, and therefore x is equal to 3. So if x equals 3, then that whole side would be 3 plus 6, which is 9. And therefore, that would be a 9 by 9 square, and therefore, the area would be 81. And 81 is the answer to that question, and that would be choice D. Jiwei and Harry, Harry entered a race. Harry finished the race in four-fifth of the time it took Jiwei to finish the next time that they raced the same distance, Jiwei increased his average speed from the first race by X percent, while Harry maintained the same average speed as in the first race. In the second race, Harry finished the race in the same amount of time it took Jiwei to finish the value of X's. So we have Jiwei and Harry. So initially, the time, well, the, the distance, the formulas are speed is equal to distance over time, or time is equal to distance over speed. So the times are distance over speed. So his distance over his speed and the distances are the same right yeah the same distance so I can just put D for both of them and the speed for Harry and we know that this time is equal to four-fifths of the time for G way so that's really 4 over 5 D S J okay all right, so then we get to the second scenario where then you have the same distance, but this time he's increased his speed by x. So he's increased it by x so that you'd say 1 plus x over 100 because it's a percentage. So, and then multiplied by this original speed. And then that for Harry is the same. His, nothing changes for him, but at this point they're saying that is equal because now they finished in the same amount of time. Because here, there was not equal, it was this four-fifth business, but this time, this is equal. Okay, so what that tells me is that this 1 over 1 plus x over 100 times d over sj is equal to d over sh. But d over sh, this guy, is this. So 4 over 5, d over sj. Well, the d over sj is canceled from both sides, so you're just left with 1 over x over 100 is equal to 4 over 5. Cross multiply and we'll get 5 is equal to 4 plus 4x four over 100. And therefore, 1 is equal to 4x over 100. Therefore, 100 is equal to 4x. And therefore, x is equal to 25. 25 is the answer. And that really what they're referring to is a percentage. And that would be choice B.